on our uh, controller. Uh, this is the 13 inch uh, forklift uh, traction motor. It's designed for 80, 80 volts um, nominal. And uh, we have it uh, hooked up uh, to our new controller setup. Now, I've made a few changes uh, to the power, um, uh, power section here. Uh, I've fitted two very big caps here. These are 3900 Fs, 400 volts, and um, I have fitted them directly to the B plus and B minus um, bus bars on the on the the IGBTs. I hope that this will keep um, keep the hanging to a minimum. And it's just the basic uh, control board here uh, that has the V zero point nine firmware. And um, we're providing 12 volts to the controller from this gel um, battery here. And the throttle input is from the uh, BMW um, throttle body, where we have hooked into the throttle position sensor here. And uh, this then operates. Um, as per as per the throttle arm here that'll be hooked up to the car's throttle cable that'll control the motor throttle um, so I have a 12 volt starting battery hooked up here to provide um, traction power uh, that's going into the controller here and we have a serial cable going to this laptop here uh, that has the RTD Explorer software installed on it. And uh, this is basically graphing um, data from the uh, controller. So if I, I don't know if you can see this too well, but if I throttle up, you'll be able to see the throttle graph and the PWM graph there and we've gone off for some reason there we go it's on um, battery power so it's kind of screen uh, power off type thing on it so you can hear the hear the motor turning there as I throttle up you hear the throttle um, builds up Well, it's only 12 volts, so uh, maybe you we'll see the calm in there. You can see the graphs here indicate. Um, you need the camera a little bit closer there. Throttle and PWM duty cycle. So uh, this seems to be functioning. Now I know it's a very simple test, but I'm not getting any kind of heat build up here on the the IGBTs. Um, it's only a very simple test, um, but it still indicates that this is a practical um, point that we can at least develop from. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change uh, this software here in enables me to change um, some of the variables inside the control chip um, that will essentially change the way that the um, that the controller responds to um, to uh, throttle input so I'm going to just go ahead here now and uh, change uh, some of these guys here, this is what Paul told me to do, so fingers crossed it works. I've tried it on the um tried it on the 
starter, so it's T pause minus gain uh, space one two eight. You can hear my cat is um, getting hungry, so we press enter on that, and we've changed that, and we want to go T minus P W M minus gain uh, space one two zero and uh, yeah that's changed that so now I got some interesting things happening when I tried this on the on the uh, 12 volt starter so I'm not sure what's going to happen here so I'll just point the camera down here and I'll give it the throttle a little bit of a blip Oh, interesting. Pretty much the same effect. More throttle. Less throttle. It's kind of, it's, just, it's, it's nearly kind of just tapping it with power. I'm going to check for heating there now on the ices in case that's causing any problems doesn't seem to be now we can see the graphing here is a little bit different as well you can see the PWM duty I'll turn the computer around a little bit here if I can just to uh, make it a bit easier to see I'll just give it some more juice there now you can see the way the duty cycle is spiking and it's shaking my foot here that's why the camera is uh, starting to shake. It's like it's kind of um, more throttle. It's kind of building up. It's all kind of weird graphs and stuff here but it's uh, let her off again. I'll try and zoom in on the com there. You'll probably be able to see it turning individual segments almost. See that? That's crazy. That kind of control on a big DC machine like this it's just tapping it around almost you can almost hear the pulses just barely tapping it around, that is insane control um, you can see the kind of uh, spikes there that's the PWM uh, transistors, I should get my thermo couple on to this to be honest but just doing the old hand test now which wouldn't be a good idea if we had a higher voltage on there what I'll try and do is it's a bit difficult to do it with a single hand on the throttle here but I think I have to put my foot on this here to stop it uh, so I'll try and just go to full power here let it there it's jerking around and we're up, more throttle, more throttle. And we're at 100% throttle there now. And our PWM's at 100%. And I'll let her back down a little bit. And we're jerking and full throttle again. And back to zero. Back slowly to zero. So I think this is quite impressive. Still not getting any kind of heating effects here on the aluminium heat sink, and it's really only a small heat sink as well. There's no um, there's no cooling of any sort on it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, pretty good. I think I'll have to um, possibly bump this up to 24 volts for the next set of tests and um, have to get the oscilloscope going here